Hi guys, we're getting ready to cure our bacon, so I thought I'd bring you along. This is our pork belly, and it's about, I'd say five pounds, baby? Three to five? Okay, sure. he's not sure. We'll say three to five. Anyway, I'm going to bring you over here and show you how we do this. Okay, I've already started this, as you can see right here, my juice. What you want to do is take a head of celery and juice it into um, a pitcher. The reason I'm doing this with the celery is because there's natural nitrates in it and I don't like using the chemical stuff. So this does the same thing as your curing salt without having all the chemicals since it is a natural nitrate. This is going to get loud guys. Okay, I um, already did the rest of it here in the bowl because I didn't want to break your eardrums. And to this, I'm going to add two cups of water. You know what, how much juice did I get? Oh, I'm only going to need one cup of water. You want it to match four cups. And let me get the glasses. Hold up, guys. I have to get glasses. I'm blind. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. If you don't get enough juice on your head, add some water till you come up to four cups. And then we're going to set this here. And I'll grab, we're making some other stuff tonight. Excuse the mess. I'm going to grab the other stuff we need, and I'll be right back. Okay, you're going to want to mix together a fourth of kosher salt. Don't use table salt. You don't want to use iodized salt. You want to use kosher. Then you're going to mix in a fourth of a cup of dark brown sugar. I might have to put this in a bowl and scoop it out. Otherwise, I'm going to have it all over my kitchen. There we go. So a fourth of a cup of packed brown, dark brown sugar. There we go. And then you're going to add a fourth of a cup of pure maple syrup. You're not going to want just regular syrup. It has to be pure maple syrup. Okay. And then we're going to mix all that together. Okay, then you're going to put it on your meat, and you're going to spread it all over your meat. And you know what? Folks, I just got done doing dishes, so I guarantee my hands are clean. Okay, you're going to want to uh, spread it all over the front of your meat and the back of your meat. Okay, and then we're going to turn this. Now, for some of you, if you want, there's this little skin area. You can cut it off or leave it on. It's up to you. Some people like leaving it on, some like cutting it off, or you can wait till after you smoke it and cut it off. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. Oh, excuse me, that's the fat. We already cut the skin off. This isn't skin, is it? It's the fat. So we've already cut the skin off of ours. But you can cut it, the skin off after you cure it and you smoke it, or before you do the curing and the smoking. It's up to you. And we have friends that actually eat the bacon with the skin still on it. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Okay. There we go.
Now I'm going to pour my juice on it. And don't worry if it gets some of the stuff off. You know what? I don't think I'm going to need all this juice, baby. That was a really juicy thing. It's going to cover the whole thing up. So I only want to go about halfway with the, the celery salt because I really don't need that much. Because I only wanted to go about halfway. That was very juicy. Oh, I got five cups instead of four. No wonder. Okay, then you can put a lid on it. And don't worry, your bacon does not come out tasting like celery. All right, we're going to put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator, leave it alone the first day. And then for six days after that, you're going to turn it every day. And I will come back on the seventh day and show you what you do next. After you've uh, brined your bacon or belly fat for seven days, turning it each day, you're going to want on the eighth day to put it on a rack like this over a pan and stick it in your refrigerator for a full day to let it dry out. One very important thing though, make sure you rinse this really well. What I did was I emptied out and cleaned the pan, so I put it back in the pan and rinsed it till the water in my pan was clear. And then I put it, as I said, on this rack and let it dry in my refrigerator for one day. Today we're going to smoke it. I'm setting it out right now so it can come to room temperature and then it's going to go on the smoker. Okay, you're going to smoke your meat. Probably five to six hours. We're using apple wood, but you can use hickory or whatever else you like. Okay, after your bacon is smoked, you want to put it in the refrigerator to get cool and a little bit chilled because that way it's easier to slice. And you want to slice it in thin slices like this. Here's what the slices look like. Look at that beautiful, beautiful bacon. So much better than store-bought. Anyway, that is how you cure bacon.